Problem 15. Find the following. In the figure, use capacitance 1 equals 8 microfarads and capacitance 2 equals 2 microfarads. All right. So, all right, equivalent resistance, charges, and voltages. All right, so this is the same problem as we did previously on 14. Except this time we're using uh, capacitors instead of resistors. Um, I like to kind of convert, um, use kind of like an analogy and convert resistors and uh, capacitors to resistors so I can kind of think of them the same way. Except the difference with capacitors is when you add, when they're capacitors in parallel, you add just the capacitance together. Kind of like opposite world or whatever, however you think of it. And it makes sense too though, because like if you look at this guy right here, because a capacitor is just a um, two metal plates next to each other. So if you look at this guy, you're like, oh, bam. All you did was you took um, two metal plates, you made them into one larger metal plate, which would give it more capacitance. So it's kind of intuitive that Capacitors in parallel should just be added their capacitance, capacitai, together. So first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to start simplifying this guy. So, hop, start with the guy in parallel. Hop, 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 hop. So six plus two, no, six plus two. Nice. Eight microfarads. Oh, this can be easy. This might be easy. C1 is eight microfarads. And C1 again, eh, eh, 8 microfarads. Excellent. 8 microfarads. Okay. So now we need to add these guys together then. So the way we're going to combine capacitors in series is add their reciprocals. So I'm just going to do them all at once. And you don't have to do them two at a time, you can do them three at a time. So I'm going to do 1 over 8. You can do as many as you want at a time. 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8. Hmm. Can you? I'm going to do it both ways. Hmm. So 1 over 8 plus 1 over 8 is 2 over 8, which equals 8 halves. So we have 8 halves and 8. Okay, then we're going to combine these into 1, and we have 2 over 8 plus 1 over 8 equals 3 over 8. Which implies we're going to have eight thirds. Excellent. And if we just did all three of them at once, then we'd have one eighth plus one eighth plus one eighth, which would equal three eighths, which when we flipped it upside down would be eight thirds. So, yes, we can just do three of them at once. I know this is one example, you know, could just be a coincidence. Eh, probably not. I'm going to run with that. So capacitance equivalent equals 8 thirds microfarads. Bam. OK. I think that's even the top question. Yep. 8 thirds. Ah, I can't divide 8 by, divide by 3. 2.67. 2.67. So here we have 2.67. You know, move over to a hardier blue. There we go. Ooh. I think I've used this in more of a sky blue. Does it even tell me the color name? No, it doesn't tell me the color, color name. The charge on each capacitor. Okay, so the charge on the capacitor is going to be based on the voltage across each capacitor. And we're going to look at, still look at voltage drops across each. So we know that Q equals C times V. Um, I'm going to say Q equals C times V. So the voltage drop across a capacitor would be Q, V equals Q over C. Yep. Where Q is the charge. Oh, we should find the total charge first, just like we found the total current. Okay. So start over here. Q total equals C times V, which equals, what is it, 2.67, 8 thirds. times, was it seven? Nine, hmm, okay, nine volts. So nine times eight is 72, 72 divided by three, that might even be a whole number. I know I should be able to do this in my head. I'm not gonna do it in my head. Ah, 21, 24, ah, 24. See, try to show off and now I just look like a moron. All right, and it'll be times 10, to, this will be micro, 
because the uh, capacitance is micro and it'll be micro coulombs. I hate the fact that coulombs is a C and capacitance is a C. It's like, come on guys. You know, can make these let's make science consistent. We don't have to have a unique name for every unit and every why don't we just call why don't we just call it um instead of chart instead of calling it coulombs, why don't we just call them charges? Twenty four micro charges. That way you only have to memorize half as many units slash names. Alright, 24 micro coulombs. Okay, so that's the total number of coulombs we have. And we treat that as if it was current. Basically flowing through everything. So each of these, so this guy's gonna have 24 micro coulombs, that guy's gonna have 24 micro coulombs. Oh, that's exactly what we're asking. Nice. So we treat it as if it was current. This is like resistors and those are, and that was current flowing through it. So 24 micro coulombs. Oh, I guess I could have just canceled one of the threes there. Fail. All right. So right, it's going to have 24. The left, going to have 24. Same as that. Now these are going to divide up the current between the two. I'm not really sure which one though. If I had a better conceptual understanding of capacitors, I would know. I know it's going to be proportional. I don't know which one's going to have the most. I think it's the big one's going to have the most. Um, charge but I'm not sure so I'm just gonna figure it out so the voltage drop across one of these capacitors so we have 24 micro coulombs and the capacitance is 8 micro farads the micros cancel and we have 24 divided by 8 3 volts so 3 volts is gonna drop oh I guess that makes sense because they're all the same so this guy's going to start at 9 volts here. It's going to drop 3 volts, so it's going to go there. This is going to start as this side is going to be a 0 volt. It's going to rise to 3 volts. So it could be 3 volts there. So we know this capacitor, C2, has 3 volts across it. Okay? So the charge, Q equals CV. So I'm going to start with a 2. So the capacitance is 2 micro farads times 3 volts which will equal 6 micro coulombs okay and then for the other one still have the same idea so there's going to be 6 micro farads 3 volts and we'll have 18 micro coulombs so the 6 micro farad capacitor will have 8 micro coulombs by 8, I mean 18 microcoulombs. And then for the other capacitor, we're going to have 6. And just as a dummy check, you know, same idea as current 6 plus 8 is 24. Bam! No current lost or charge lost. So we're good there. All right, the potential difference across each capacitor. All right, I already figured that out because I didn't quite have a good idea of how the charges worked. So we know that this guy's 3, that guy's 3, and that guy's 3. They're all going to be 3. I think I just got lucky with how the numbers worked out. So this will be 3, 3, 3, and 3. Bam! That's how that guy works. Um, so if, the, if this one doesn't turn out to be symmetrical with the others, then your numbers will be a little bit different. And you'll have the same for left and right capacitors, then you'd have different, different voltage for this guy. So for the 2 and the 6. But the 2 and the 6 will have the same voltage because they're in parallel. That is the definition of parallel. Parallel means they have the same voltage across them. All right, that's it for this. Um, you guys have an exam coming up. Good luck. Hope you guys do well. And um, have any comments? Leave them below. Like my videos. Like them. Haven't subscribed yet? You should subscribe. Take care. See you next.